Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli and today our topic is how to send payment reminders on WhatsApp 100% automated. So here what we want is that as we are maintaining our Google Sheet where we are adding the detail of all our payment statuses and all the detail of our customer. So by using all these details, we want to send daily reminders to our customer that has the due payments. So for this, we are going to set up an automation and a connection between Google Sheet and WhatsApp Cloud API. So we are using WhatsApp Cloud API for sending the messages on WhatsApp. So here my objective is that first I'm going to schedule my workflow for daily by using schedule by Pabli and I'm going to schedule it for daily. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the detail of the payment statuses and the customers that I has the due payment from my Google Sheet. So as I'm going to get all the details from Google Sheet, then automatically by using all these details of my customer, I'm going to send payment reminder messages on WhatsApp by using WhatsApp Cloud API. So I'm going to build this connection with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now how I can build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see how we can send payment reminders automatically on WhatsApp and that is going to be 100% automated. So suppose we are maintaining a sheet and we are daily updating our sheet with our payment statuses. So if any customer has the payment status that is going to be due, then automatically we are going to update that in the morning every day. Now what we want is that as we are going to update our Google Sheet with all the customer details and the payment details and as we have the status of payment due for any customer, then automatically by capturing all the detail of that payment and the customer, we are going to send an automated message on WhatsApp to that customer and we are going to do this automatically with the help of Pabli Connect. So how we are going to set up this automation and how we can send this payment reminder messages on WhatsApp. For that, we are going to use Pabli Connect and we are going to build this connection without any coding and programming skills between Google Sheet and WhatsApp Cloud API. So we are using WhatsApp Cloud API for sending the messages on WhatsApp. So let's get started. And for using Pabli Connect, we need to search for pabli.com slash connect in our browser and it will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then we just need to click on this sign up for free button and it will take only two minutes of our time and it will give 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, then we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I need to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here, what I need to do is I need to click on create workflow and this window will pop up. And now by this window, we are going to create a new workflow. So we need to first name our workflow and I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to send payment reminders on WhatsApp 100% automated. And now I need to click on create. And here this will take us to this window. So this is the window of our workflow and here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to first set up my trigger and in my trigger I'm going to use schedule by Pabli so that I can schedule my workflow for daily. So as I want to send the reminder messages to all my customers daily. So I'm going to use schedule by Pabli. So I need to select this and here I want to schedule my workflow for daily. So for that, what I need to do is I need to open this tab of how often you want to run your workflow. So I'm going to open this and here I'm going to select every day. And now I need to give the time at which I want to execute my workflow every day. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to select my time as 12 PM. So every day at 12 PM, my workflow is going to get executed. And now what I need to do is I need to click on save and I have successfully saved my workflow and I have successfully scheduled my workflow for every day at 12 PM. So I have scheduled my workflow for every day and now I'm going to maintain my Google sheet every day in the morning with all the details of my customer that has a due payment. So what I need to do is I need to get all the detail of my customer and the payment status of my customers. So I want to get all the detail of my customer that has the due payment from my Google Sheet. So for that, I need to set up my action tab. So I'm going to open this tab. And here I'm going to use my action application as Google Sheets. So I'm going to select Google Sheets here. 
and now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and here I have this option of lookup spreadsheet rows v2. So this is going to be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And now what I need to do is I need to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google. And now I need to click on allow to give access to my account. So I'm going to click here. And my connection here is successful. Now first what I need to do is I need to select my spreadsheet where I'm maintaining the data of my customer. So for that I need to take you back to my Google Sheet. And here I'm going to use this particular spreadsheet of payment reminders. And here I'm on my sheet one. I only have one sheet here and in this sheet and in this spreadsheet, I'm adding all these details of my customer. And here I have this column of column G, which has the payment status. So this is going to be my spreadsheet. And now I'm going to map this in Pabli Connect. So let's go back to Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to open this tab. And in this tab, I will find all the spreadsheet that I have in my Google Sheet account. So I'm going to use this spreadsheet of payment reminders. And now what I need to do is I need to give my lookup value. So here my lookup value is going to be due. Due is my payment status. And if I'm getting this due value from my column of payment status, then automatically I'm going to get the detail of that row with all the detail of my customer. So here my lookup value is going to be due. So I'm going to type that. And now I need to give my lookup column and, and column of data. So for this, let me take you back to my spreadsheet. And here I have this column G, which is the column of payment status. So I'm going to use this column for finding my lookup value. So this is going to be my lookup column. And this is also going to be my and column of data. As I'm going to find the value of due in my payment status column, then automatically I want to send the data of that whole row to Pabli Connect. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. And here my lookup column is going to be column G. And similarly, I'm going to give my and column of data that will be G2. Now here, what I want to do is I need to first toggle off this response of simple response. So as I can have the data of a lot of customers that has the payment status due, that's why I have turned off this response of simple response. And I want to get the data of all those customers in advanced format and in array format. As I filled all the required details, I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here I have received this response. So in this response, I have this array and in this array, I'm going to get all the detail of my customer that has this payment status of due. So as I'm going to receive all my customer detail in this array, so what I need to do is I need to one by one retrieve all the detail of my customer from this array. So for that, what I need to do is I need to add my actions tab. And for processing my array, I need to use a tool that Pabli offers. So that will be iterated by Pabli. Now I need to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab and process arrays will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and now I'm going to connect iterator by Pabli with Pabli connect. So I'll click here on connect and now I need to choose my array. So I only have one array that is of response result from my Google sheet response. So I'm going to select this and here I have this important note that says the response includes the first expanded data set as value which can be mapped in further steps at the time of workflow execution. It will process all values one by one. We support iteration of maximum 500 records at once. So what is going to happen is that we are going to receive the first value set of our response from our array. So we can use that first value set to map in our further step and we can use that to execute our workflow. And as we are going to set up our workflow and at the time of the execution, all the values that we are going to receive in our array is going to process one by one and we are going to get all the value one by one from iterator by Pabli. So here what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test request button and here I have received the response. So this is the name of my customer that is demo user. I have the email that is demo user at the rate pablitudes.com. I have the random phone number and this is the WhatsApp number of my customer. So I'm going to use this WhatsApp number to send the WhatsApp message for my payment reminder. Also, this is my amount and this is my product name for which my payment is due. So here I have received all these details from my Google sheet and these are my details of my customer that has the payment due. So what I need to do is I need to use all these details. I want to send a payment reminder message to my customer on WhatsApp. So for that, I need to add my last action step. And here my action application is going to be WhatsApp cloud API. So I'm going to select WhatsApp cloud API here. And now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab 
and send template message will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And for connecting WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect, I need to give a token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So how I can find all these details and how I can set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account. For that, you need to open this hyperlink of learn more. And after opening this hyperlink, you will get all the instruction of how you can set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account and how you can get all these details. So I have already set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account. So I'm going to take you there. And here, this is my WhatsApp Cloud API account. And here I have this temporary access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So I need all these details to connect Pabli Connect with WhatsApp Cloud API. So first I'm going to refresh this access token. And now I'm going to copy all these details and I'm going to paste them in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to do that. So here I have filled all these required details. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save. And here I've successfully connected WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect. Now what I need to do is I need to first select my template that I want to use to send the payment reminder messages on WhatsApp. So here what we need to do is we need to first create a template in our WhatsApp Cloud API account and I'm going to show you how you can create a template or how you can select the template that you have created in your WhatsApp Cloud API account here in Pabli Connect. So for this, let me take you back to WhatsApp Cloud API and here we have this hyperlink. So I'm going to open this by clicking here and here it will take us to WhatsApp Manager and in WhatsApp Manager, we can see we have all the templates that I've created in my WhatsApp Cloud API account. So here we can create new templates and for creating a new template, what we need to do is we need to click here on this create template button. And after clicking here, what we need to do is we need to follow all the instructions and we need to give the message that we want to use as a template and we want to send to all our customer on WhatsApp. So after customizing the message, we need to take the approval of our template from Meta. And after getting the approval, our template is going to look like this. So this is my template of due reminders. So I'm going to use this. So I'm going to open this. So this is going to be my template and in this template, I have these three variables. So in these variable places, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the name of my customer amount and the product name. And as these are the variables, then automatically all these details can get changed according to our new details. So here, this is going to be my template, which is hi customer name. I hope you are doing well. This is a friendly reminder that the payment of here, I'm going to give my amount for and I'm going to give my product name was due. I understand that things can get busy. So I want to check in and see if you could please take care of it at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Regards ABC. And here you can give the name of your company. So this is the message that I've customized for sending the payment reminders. And I'm going to use this particular template. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. And here for selecting my template, I need to open this tab and I will find all the templates that I have in my WhatsApp Cloud API account. So I'm going to use this particular template of due reminder. So it is already selected and my language code and template ID is already selected too. Now here, what I need to do is I need to give the recipient mobile number. So for the recipient mobile number, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the WhatsApp number of my customer that I'm going to receive from my response of iterator by Pabli. So in my response of iterator by Pabli, I'm going to receive all the detail of my customer that has the due payments. And iterator is always going to process all the value of my arrays one by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the mobile number of my customer here in this tab. And for that, I need to use mapping. So what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I need to click here. I will open this response of iterator and here, this is my phone number. So I'm going to map this. And this is going to be my recipient mobile number. Now what I need to do is I need to map body field one, body field two and body field three. So these are the tabs of my variable. Now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the name of my customer. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of iterator. And here, this is the name of my customer. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I'm going to map the amount. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of iterator. And here, this is my amount that is 12,000 rupees. So I'm going to map this. Now I need to give my product name. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of iterator. And here, this is my product name. So I'm going to map this. And here I have mapped all these details. So as I map these details, I have made these details dynamic. 
So what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive the new responses every time from my Google Sheet with my customer details, then automatically all these details that I have mapped here are going to get replaced with the new detail in the real time. Now I have filled all the required details. So I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have sent a payment reminder message automatically to my customer on WhatsApp. So to check this, let me open WhatsApp and here on WhatsApp, we can see I have received this new message. So I'm going to open this. So here, this is my message and my message is, hi demo user, I hope you're doing well. This is a friendly reminder that the payment of 12,000 rupees for iNUX X11 was due. I understand that things can get busy. So I wanted to check in and see if you could please take care of it at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Regards, ABC. So here we can see that this was my message that I have on my template and automatically by using that template message, I have sent this message on WhatsApp to my customer for the payment reminder. So here I have automatically sent this payment reminder to my customer that has the due payment and I have the record of my customer and the details in my Google Sheet. So I have used all those details of my customer from my Google Sheet and I have sent this message automatically to my customer on WhatsApp. So here my connection between Google Sheet and WhatsApp Cloud API is working successfully. And now every day, whenever I'm going to maintain my Google Sheet with the customer details that have the due payments, then automatically by using all those details of my customer, I'm going to send WhatsApp messages as a payment reminder every day at a particular time. So here I have successfully created this workflow and this automation between Google Sheet and WhatsApp Cloud API. Now let's go back to Public Connect. And here I have created this connection between Google Sheet and WhatsApp Cloud API for sending payment reminders on WhatsApp 100% automated. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was scheduled by Pabli and I have scheduled it for every day. Then I have set up my action steps and first I have used Google Sheet and here my action event was lookup spreadsheet rows v2. After that I have used iterator by Pabli to process the arrays that I'm going to receive from my Google Sheet. And after this, in the last, I have used WhatsApp Cloud API for sending the template message. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.